We fall in love by accident, a heavenly coincidence. No matter what you think is true, let me introduce you to Then figure out this place. Guess someone hates my guts. I handed him the sign. Anti-folk, it's like a, been around for 20 years and no one really knows what it means. And that's, I think, what, one of the cool things about it because it's sort of like a, uh, I think when it started it was like a punk music mixed with folk music and then it mutated to just be almost like uh, different kinds of art music. The emphasis on it is that it's uh, uh, original songwriting, you know, so people don't really perform as much like uh, cover songs of other people. They, they write the songs themselves and often play it on an, acu an acoustic guitar and you know, so I think of it as kind of a scene of people that know each other and they all do something different, you know. By now there's a anti-folk scenes in London and uh, France and uh, Germany or all over the place there's sort of uh, anti-folk scenes. Musical ladders. With, with, with these for some reason I ended up a lot like thinking about the X and Y axis. And like I, I feel, it felt like I was actually trying to always make everything really cubic and like fit into a square. And then it was actually like the rebellion against the square that kind of gave it its character. It's sort of just like something that's not square, like fighting against something that's square. <laughs> I kind of have a feeling like if you look back on somebody's like creative um, web of ideas and stuff, you know, throughout their whole lifetime, and you see what's like a commonality between like, um, you know, between everything that they did that's who they are, you know? That's who they are as a person. It's like, especially you can see that with Picasso, you know, because he did such a variety of different things. But then when you notice the commonality is when you actually see who he was. And I feel like with this particular show, like, it's like everything that's not Donald Duck is what's me, you know? Some of these I sort of drew in a noise style that I've kind of been trying to draw noise, or at least it's almost like a memory of a feeling that I have about when I was a kid, I was in a noise band with my friends and you know we just make like experimental noise music and the textures of the noise were like really vivid to me because it's concentrating a lot on like what just like little sounds you know sound like and it felt like very textural and I could like feel like I could draw it some something like this is very like noise you know uh, or for, or something like this I think has like a lot of the influence of being like an like in a noise band Bursting with juice